Good morning, everyone. Today is the 25th of April, so Saturday, and uh, today we'll be discussing over two major points in this class. Number one would be the answers that uh, you are asked to submit. The two questions, very uh, not very short, but short answer type questions of three marks each. I'll be discussing both the answers of those questions and. Uh, at the end of the discussion, I'll mention the names of the students whose submissions I have not received over Google Classroom or even over uh, directly over WhatsApp. So, yeah, the first the first part, uh, the two answers that are to be discussed. So the first question was, how was Gandhi able to influence lawyers? Now, if you remember one point I uh, highlighted during the, during the explanation of the chapter in Leo was that Gandhi had a very technical approach, had a very legal approach to give support to the sharecroppers. He not only went to create a support, create a movement, but also made sure that the lawyers realize and not only the lawyers, but the sharecroppers and also the British administrators realized that legally what they're doing was wrong and the fact was known by all the other Indians and they could find, even for future, they could find a way to fight any injustice. And in the process of fighting for injustice, the lawyers were very important because the sharecroppers, although wanted to fight, but they lacked the level of education. Or, and, and when you lack knowledge, when you lack education, there's a certain lack of power, mental empowerment, and only the lawyers could could work the work as empowering forces for the sharecroppers. And Gandhi realized this thing. He wanted the lawyers to be, you know, aware, to be activated. Now, Gandhi, during his visit in Patna, Muzaffarpur, and Champaran, met many prominent and successful lawyers during his visit. If you do remember, the lawyers did fight cases for the sharecroppers, but they charged a lot of fees. Gandhi pointed out that what you're doing is wrong. You cannot charge excess from the poor peasants. And at the end of the day, they are your people of your own nation, people of, audience of your own state. So you need to be supporting them rather than making many money out of them. He made them understood that the farmers are timid and they and, and they need mental support, of course, financial support. And also the fact that Gandhi being an outsider went, was ready, he didn't actually ended up going, but he was ready to go to jail for those farmers. When the lawyers, the local lawyers saw this, they themselves realized that we need to change our attitude. We need to, we need to be better. You know, they, they got influenced in a much better way. Please mention these three points. It's a three mark question. The next question is, how did the episode change the plight of the farmers? Plight means the condition, the bad condition of the farmers. It's very clear that the removal of the uh, rent and the compensation, which the British were illegally charging from the farmers was completely wrong. And the farmers, when they got to know about it, they tried to fight. And obviously the British had more power, they had control over the administration, over the police, they had more money. So it was difficult for the farmers to fight. What Gandhi did was he approached a legal uh, solution to that. So even if he was taken to court, Gandhi represented the lawyers, sorry, Gandhi represented the farmers and he was ready to go to court. If you have gone through this story, if you have read it, you would remember when there was a point of time the British judge told Gandhi that uh, I'll, give his, I'll, I'll give a sermon in 120 hours and then he never gave the sermon. Basically Gandhi was set free and the British administration was ready to give back the compensation. To what extent? Not 100%. They barely got 25% of the compensation. Now how did it change their plight? Number one, they got a certain amount of their money back which was illegally taken from them. Number two, they did not have to pay any more illegal money to the British landlords. Now they, they only had to pay a certain amount of rent and not 15% of their indigo plantation had to be given away mandatorily. Uh, 
and the fact that and the most important fact the third point it's a three mark question so the third point is the most important where the farmers realize that it is possible they got the courage they understood that it's possible to fight that it's possible to fight against injustice they got to know that the british that the british government was not invincible it was not beyond uh, correction or beyond questions these are the two things that i have to discuss uh, at the end i need to point out the students who need to go ahead with the submissions who haven't done it till late uh, the submission of uh, day before yesterday's homework i have kankan jyoti then there's someone called sahil i'm really not sure who the sahil is that is that is the name on google classroom i couldn't find the list then there's biswa kalita chinmay mazumdar pinky meghwal jeet pathak tanvi sharma uh, yashmin sultana and vishal taid these are the names you would know the discrepancies between your actual names and the google classroom names please make sure that you submit it today before 12 o'clock um, that's it monday will be starting well today is going to be the last discussion on this text on indigo monday will be starting with a new text with a new story with a new narration i'll see you then bye